Hi guys, it's Gav here from DancePlanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. On today's show, I've got Harvey, who's from near Wakefield and is lucky enough to be going to the Premier League tomorrow night. He's 12 years old, so thanks for joining the show. How are you today, Harvey? I'm fine, thanks, Gav. Pleasure to be here. Brilliant, I bet you can't wait. I wish I was going, I bet you're well excited, aren't you? Yeah, I've been waiting since, ever, since Christmas and been looking forward to it for a while now. Oh, fantastic. Cool. I'd be absolutely buzzing. Well, me and Harvey today are going to be discussing Night 6. Obviously, as I've just said, it's from the First Direct Arena in Leeds. It's on Sky Sports and it's from 7pm. Um, the opening game of the, of the evening is Michael Van Gerwen against Simon Whitlock. Uh, last week, Michael Van Gerwen beat Gurney 7-2. I say last week, as actually last week was cancelled um, in extra, as we know, but in Berlin, he beat Gurney 7-2 with 100 103.42 average. Simon Whitlock last time lost out to Smith 7-3 with a really low average of just 85.6. How do you see this one going, Harvey? Well, I think it'll be closer than people expect. The way Whitlock played last week, so both had early exits in the UK Open. Nandura losing to Disvan and Whitlock losing to Ian White. But I think MBG will sneak it, but it could go either way at 7-5 to Michael Van Gogh. You're going seven for Yeah, I think that MVG is going to win this one quite easy. I think Whitlock, especially after the UK um, and some of his, his performances, I'm going for a 7-2 win um, to MVG on this one. I think he's going to put Whitlock in his place. <laughs> but there we go. Next up, we've got um, the next uh, matchup is Gowin Price against Raymond Van Barneveld. Last time out, Price, uh, Price lost 7-3 to Silivich with a 90.87 average. Um, Barney lost across 7-3 with just an 88.6 average. He looked really out of sorts last time, Barney, to me. Disinterested, looked the same at the UK Open. How do you see this one, Garm? Well, Barney, he's been playing disappointing, dis disappointing for about three, four weeks now. Yeah. Shocked away, played at Premier League and at UK Open. He didn't seem bothered and think he must be some sort of illness or he just... Do you think it's to do with his diabetes? Because I know that that's quite heavily talked about, like with all his sugar levels and stuff like that, with the, the heat on the yeah. stage. Or do you think it's just that uh, it's been playing for so many years he can't get up for a game like he used to? I'm not sure, but dealing with Price as well, he, he was lucky to beat Van Barneveld last week, but he didn't play well. And he's not quite sure Gillian Price is playing up to the standard which we expected him to in Premier League. Yeah. I think Barney will win 7-4. Oh, in this particular one, I'm going, I'm going, I think, you know, Price did OK at the UK Open. He had a game against Hogan when he did have a high average. Barney's looking a bit disinterested. I'm going to have this, but I think it's got a draw written all over it. I'm going for Gowin Price 6, Raymond Van Barneveld 6. Next up, we see my favourite player, Sna um, Peter Snake by Wright against Mincha Sulevic. Last time out in Berlin, obviously Wright um, was in that epic match against Anderson when they drew 6 all with 104.65 average, while Sulevic had 106.2 average, uh, beaten uh, Price 7 3. So I think this is going to be a great match. How do you see this one, Gam? Well, it's going to be close, because I don't... Do Mensa play in the UK? No, I think Mensa... What he's done is, for some reason, Mensa decided to stay away um, from that particular tournament to concentrate on uh, Premier League, which doesn't make sense to me, obviously, because he's defending two years' worth of points. So I, I, I can't quite see the logic behind that. Um, yeah, so strange, really. I don't know where, because uh, Mensa have been playing well in the Premier League. You just haven't been getting the results so yeah. far. But Peter Wright had a disappointment against Nathan Rafferty. Yes. Again, losing 10 9. Maybe Premier League in a few years if he keeps on pulling your shots off like that. Oh, yeah, definitely. He was a good oh, little player, weren't he? I think Peter Wright will bounce back and beat Mensal 7 5. Yep, I am going to agree with you on that one. I have got right to win this one. Sneak it 7 5 2. 
Next up, we see Gary Anderson against Super Chin Daryl Gurney. As we know, Gary Anderson last week um, at Berlin again, should I say, drew a right 6 all, 105.25 average, while Daryl Gurney lost to MVG 7 2 with a 96 point. Uh, nine average. Super Chin to me seems all over the place at the minute. Not done nothing since his major. Looks out of sorts everywhere. Look disinterested. How do you see this one going? Well, I agree Gurney's been a bit out of sorts lately and Gary Anderson with the UK Open victory especially against Cadby the way Cadby's been playing all over the weekend. Yeah, definitely. I think Gary Anderson will have confidence going into it. But Gurney doesn't seem to have any confidence because when he was on the TV stage against Kim Albert, he didn't show anything of what he can do. No, terrible, weren't it? I think Gary Anderson will win this quite convincingly at 7 3. Oh, similar to me. I'm actually going for Anderson to beat Super Chin 7-2. So last game of the evening, we see Rob Cross against bully boy Michael Smith. Last time out, Rob Cross beat Barney 90, um, with a 96.46 average. He won 7-3. And Smith beat Whitlock with just an 87.32 average. But he didn't need to be great. It was a really poor game um, in Berlin. How do you see this one going, Harvey? Well, Rob Cross, he did okay in the UK but... Just unlucky to draw Anderson who were playing in the, the final six legs. And Rob Michael Smith disappointment losing to Steve West. Yep. Really out of bounds. And both of them are playing quite well, but I think Rob Cross is quite on and off lately. Especially in Premier League. Yeah. First two weeks he just looked like he wasn't bothered. The last few weeks he's I think it's just. I think a lot of it was just winning the worlds, was that he won the worlds? He didn't practice. It was new to him, and I thought he was this cool sort of character, which he is, who didn't care about anything. But it did catch up with him, didn't it? Without a doubt. The UK Open first week qualifiers in the UK Open as well. Didn't he went out in the first round in the first three, in the first yeah. um, weekend, didn't he? Every time in round one, crazy. Yeah, he played poor, and but I think this one will be. Close, I think it'll be six each. You're going six all, are you? I am going to go, and I don't know why, but I'm going to go for Smith to have another win in this one, and I'm going for him to edge Rob Cross out for some reason seven five. I think he's I think he's playing really well, and he's doing enough. I know that he went out in the UK Open when he probably shouldn't have done, um, but yeah, I think he's going to bounce back and have a seven five win against Cross. So they are the predictions for this week. Like I say, Harvey's lucky enough to be going. It is on at um, seven pm on Sky Sports tomorrow night. Um, have you enjoyed being on the show, Harvey? Yeah, it's been fabulous. Thank you for having me. No worries. Just before you go, just tell us a little bit about um, your darts and that and what sort of level you play at. How much do you play? Do you play lots during the week or in the team? or? Well, I don't play in the team or play tournaments. I just, when my dad comes round on the Tuesday and some other days throughout week, me and my dad just have a game. And well, I play with quite well recently, a few 180s. And have you? How many 180s you, know, have you had? I don't know how many I've had overall, but I had two the other night. Not in one yeah. night. Yeah, it was the same game. I think it were two to kick off. You're shutting two me up here, minutes. Harvey. I wouldn't want to play you. You'd thrash me. I know. I, I just can't keep consistency, though. I'm sure you'll get there. Just loads of practice. The main thing, Harvey, is as long as you enjoy it, it's all that matters. I'm not, I love darts like you do, and as long as you enjoy it, it's all that matters. That's, that's period, I think. Yeah, it is, yeah. Well, anyway, listen, thank you for coming on today. Um, for, for, for all you other guys, as always, please leave your predictions below, but not just below, head across, as you can see here, guys, to www fantasydarts.tv it's my new site it's only been launched about 30 or 40 hours we've had over 150 sign ups you can add your predictions it's 100% free to play you can win cash prizes so please please make the most of that and head across and add your predictions I know that Harvey's joined and added his so good luck with that as always guys if you have enjoyed the video please leave a like uh, don't forget to turn your notifications on and hit that subscribe button and check out dartsplanet.tv. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, Harvey. I'll catch you next time.
See ya. Bye.